Dearest souls, you already know what time it is. What are you waiting for? And stop stopping yourself. You have great work to do as you unlock the treasures and gifts stored inside of you. Not only will you be transformed. but also everything around you will be upgraded as a divine being you have that kind of influence by stepping into your power you can have a tremendous positive impact on the people around you so i don't know who you are but you are not here by accident you are a man woman of purpose so you have an assignment and you have people assigned to you but until you commit to yourself you can't commit to them so today renew your promise to yourself Remember that in order to go higher you must go deeper and the way up is down. So recommit to focusing on your own development so you can do what you have been called to do. So you have been waiting long enough and it's time to claim the life you want to live by. stepping fully into the shoes of the person you want to become so no more hesitating no more overthinking no more doubting the move you have to take next so just start start walking like your future self start talking like your future self start emulating your future self mind body and spirit listen i know a green light when i see one and trust that the rest of the pieces will fall into place along the way so right now the universe is carving out a new path for you so get ready for the shift if you have been struggling with the idea of turning your light up this is your green light to go ahead and shine you don't need permission to be your best self and you just have to start So this is your level up year and end of story. Dear souls, know that be careful you are not safe with this person. There is a third party situation in your connection from a very long time and for many of you it has been more than 3 years that you are dealing with a third party situation. So third party situation is nothing but a outcome of fearful choices and some main decision took by your partner in past. And because of pressure and the fear of left in alone without money, your partner try to make a successful relationship with third person by giving them and they are all but because it is a karmic situation your person did not get anything from this connection and except anxiety and depression so this person took you for granted because of your giving behavior and they thought that you will be always in their life and you can't move on from them But when you start seeing the change behavior of your partner towards you, you made boundaries around you 
regarding this person and connection which shock your partner immensely so third party knows about you and also about the connection you share with your partner and the third person knows how deeply you are connected with each other and also they are able to see the intensity of feelings your person have for you and which is still hidden from you and your person feels that they can lose you for forever and you will never talk to them again if they don't come out of this situation and give you something stable on which you can trust and even wait for them this person is almost out of this third party right now so everything is seen to be happen mutually here and finally all of you are getting what you want you and your partner and third party and you are looking for a happy stable future ahead so dear souls know that the confusion that was being felt or is being felt is lack of decision making i see that for a while you could have stepped away from this person and but and delay things a bit but that delay was just keeping things under the rug and this could be because of fear of confrontation or an argument so the reason why you could you feeling heavy is because you are not cutting this off from system I see that you are thinking a lot about other people and this is your energy. So right now it is not about anyone else but trust just you. Do not fall for this idea and try again. Trying is good but in this case no because it is coming at the cost of your sanity. So relationships are about loving each other. and being with each and having a good time with happiness and sadness as well and it just comes organically but if it is all about trying then where are you living cards ask you to move out of this eight of swords energy and let yourself become free of any burden that holds you back and this seems like the feeling that feel before we take an adventurous joy ride it's scary but on the other side is victory and fun and this is all in your hands so the next phase of your life will be starting from here so take it or leave it my child no dad Sometimes you must retreat before you rise and lose before you level up. Remember life is about learning and growing despite temporary challenges. So believe in your destiny because setbacks always lead to step ups. Stay patient and trust that things will work out right on time. so nothing stops nature from blossoming in the right seasons trust that and you will thrive you are in the process of purging while elevating and that is why it feels heavy and relieving all at once so that is why it feels like you are going the right way and the wrong way at the same time so don't try to hold on to anything relax flow trust and let it go so allow yourself to drift into a higher dimension where the consistency you deserve resides
Right now, your higher self is encouraging you to take things up or octave or more accurately to rise up to a higher frequency. So take things to the next level. You are ready. Give up setting around waiting for the world to find you or for them to understand or appreciate your work. So turn that potential and passion within you into purpose. Work on those inspired ideas, develop them fully and meet the universe half away. So trust that your passion and faith will create the path that you are seeking. Show the world who you are and start today. So dear souls know that you know sometimes we find ourselves holding on and we do it because we are strong we have this incredible capacity to love unconditionally and that is a beautiful thing but there comes a point when we need to look within and see if holding on is truly serving us Maybe just maybe it is time to use that strength we have to take a step forward in our life It is not about giving up on love or closing our heart but it is about realizing that sometimes letting go is an act of strength in itself And when we love someone deeply it can be hard to imagine life without them we hold on to the memories to the hope that things will change and that somehow things will get better but sometimes holding on only prolongs the pain and prevents us from moving forward using our strain to let go does not mean we are weak or giving up it means we are choosing ourselves our happiness and our well-being it is about recognizing that we deserve to be with someone and who truly values and cherish us yes it is scary to let go of something familiar something that once brought us joy but sometimes the most beautiful opportunities and growth come from the unknown from embarrassing change So if you find yourself holding on to a situation that no longer serves you take a moment to reflect ask yourself if your strength is better used in moving forward and in exploring new possibilities and in creating a life that aligns with your true desires you are strong my love and your strength lies not just in holding on but also in knowing when to let go it takes courage to embrace change and to step into the unknown but that is where the magic happens trust in your strength and trust in yourself you have the power to shape your own destiny to choose a path that brings you joy and fulfillment and remember letting go does not mean you are weak it means you are strong enough to embrace new beginning and create a bright future for yourself so dear souls know that accepting less than you deserve and tolerating mistreatment when you were not in your power so don't let that one hard chapter of your life became your identity and who you are today so it all happened for a reason and it all happened the way it did because it simply was a necessary experience you had to go through and grow through without struggles and hardships you would not know real happiness you would not know empathy compassion you would not even be able to understand yourself and your power you would not know the importance of self love self care and you would not know who you truly are at your core 
forgive integrate be and love better so keep believing in life's possibility to change believe in your own self to maybe times are still hard for you and you don't know how you are going to make it through another year with a broken heart and maybe you are going through things to never thought you would have to but even in the difficult day or days opportunities for you to restart trust that one day things will change and what hurts you so much today will also be your source of strength so my child know that maybe it is okay that you have not worked out every little detail just yet maybe it is okay that you are feeling a little lost lately and maybe you don't need all the answers right now and maybe everything you need now is right here maybe the only thing you are missing is trust believing that everything will work out the way and it is supposed to and once you let go of your fears and put your trust into yourself and into the universe that is when it all comes together and maybe this is your sign to do it and whatever thing you are thinking of when reading this this is your sign to trust yourself this is your sign and it's time to change so my child know that the truth is that life continues even after you find love with the same struggles the same internal battles the same challenges and hurdles and the same trauma and the only thing that falls into place after you find someone to spend the rest of your days with is the faith that even if everything does end up falling apart and you still have someone to go home to and that is what gives you comfort and that is what easy your heart and that is what make it all feel okay so throughout life we experiences many different kind of friendships on rare occasions we encounter someone so special that we just know we meet for a reason and there are the kinds of friendship that last forever no matter what city you live in or how often you speak no matter how old you get or what phase of life you are in so my child know that a delay is not a denial some delays may happen for certain reasons and you know about what happened in the life of daniel when daniel prayed the answer was given immediately but because of the demonic force it took time for him to get but this continuously prayed and because of his prayer the obstruction of the demonic force was able to break and he got his answer to his prayer and you know about what happened in the life of lazarus i can heal him but i delayed it because i wanted to do the impossible into a greatest miracle and they believed in me and they expected me to heal him but i wanted to give them something more than they expected and in your life you may be dealing with some delays some delays may be because of some demonic forces that can be overcome only by prayer and some may be because you believe and expected me to do the things you think you need it but i want to give more than you ask through your faith by giving your greatest miracle
सो सम डिलेज मे बी बिकॉज यू मे नॉट बी प्रिपेयर फॉर वॉट यू आर वेटिंग फॉर और आस्किंग मी इन प्रेयर सो इफ आई गिव इट टू यू इमिडिएटली यू मे लूज इट I don't want that to happen so I will prepare you in a way you will not lose it in your life ever so let me tell you for every delay have a reason so never stop praying hold your faith in me strongly my child know that a tempting choice is here you may be feeling unsure of what decision to make because the future you want feels out of reach but you don't want to repeat the past either you are trying to stay out while things became clear or you weigh up the pros and cons of the options you have now is not that time to move towards but rather stay put and get clear on what options are available and what your motives are to so you may have more choices than you first think of and you may not be as stuck in this situation and as you think to the ego is pulling you towards something but if you know this is not for your highest good then remember your choices in the matter and choose what feels nourishing and fulfilling choose long term satisfaction over immediate satisfaction sometimes saying no to something now means we get a bigger yes in the future so don't accept something which feels restrictive toxic or imbalanced Dear God thank you for the start of a new day and new week I ask that you protect me and those I love from dangers unnecessary cares and defend us from the temptations of this world so that we may never be ensnared by any of its sinful enjoyment Father keep us from all irregular sadness grief and worldly fear and from whatever is harmful to our soul deliver us not only from the vanities of the world but also from other miseries lord please guide us so that our desires may not overtake and make us want short and deceitful pleasures instead of eternal joy in heaven so grant us your grace to avoid all excesses so we may desire to use temporal things wisely and never often you so thank you for your mercy and grace which are new every morning and your a gap love that surpasses all understanding so in jesus almighty name pray amen Lord our God bless us all through your spirit that we may find certainty of heart in community with you find under under your rulership and may we keep the certainty whatever course our lives may take whatever battles and suffering may comes to us for we belong to you and you rule and guide us as your children So watch over all who are still far away from you, but who long for you. Watch over for all who are good-hearted and sincere, even if they often do not understand you. Protect them and let your kingdom come, so that your will is carried out more and more by the many who feel compelled to seek for you and for the goodness and truth. which are your will may we and many others serve you with our whole lives amen so my child know that
to benefit from god's word we need to open our hearts to jesus we need to allow scripture to work its way through us drawing us closer to the risen christ in our midst and deepening our dependence on god in all that we do and this is our source of power joy and unfailing love but sadly we sometimes miss the opportunity to let the bible shape the kind of people we are and how we actually live our lives this is confronted the pharisees for reading the scripture in a way that was harmful they study it diligently but refuse to let it lead them to engage personally and lovingly with jesus as the christ and how readily we make the mistake of putting our bible reading on a to do list that we check off with a sense of accomplishment like the pharisees but reading to get through the bible is a waste of time if we are not letting the bible get through to us we need to submit to it or more accurately we need to submit to its author and the holy spirit the bible is inspired by god but is our reading inspired by god are we listening to you and relying upon the spirit as we read and what would it be like to live love and feel at full capacity can you imagine what it would be like this message is about being truly and unapologetically you so it is time for radical ways of being and thinking and you can start by granting yourself the freedom and the creativity to be you it is time to unleash your inner rainbow dragon and unapologetically claim your heart based empowerment and radiantly unconventional gifts and to have fun with it it's time to for expansion and you can be as big as your energy wants to be so stop and consider anything that is holding your back This message permission slip that allows you to let go of limiting stories and take up all the space you need have a fun unleashing who you are and as bold and radical as some of your ideas or offering might be and who is to say they are not for the world is waiting for and what the world wants take note of any judgment of authentic expression towards yourself or others be mindful that creatively exploring unrefined expression may be what is needed right now remember to center yourself in your heart and be the masterpiece your soul always wanted you to be so my child know that when we deny our faults weakness hurts sins desires or needs still lurk in our shadow self the more expects of your personality that you deny the larger and darker your shadow self becomes then because it is unconscious and attached to shame and emotional distress it operates with still power to defeat your good intentions to excel in your efforts to do work and to love god and people and other than your sins your shadow self is not bad it is a natural human even good but it includes aspects of yourself that you do not like and have judged as bad and banishing them into the dungeon of your unconsciousness mind surprisingly many of us also repress our good qualities healthy pleasures and abilities especially if we are insecure and scared or feel shame so your hidden self probably includes some personal strengths and blessings from god and as carl jung taught none of us are as good as we want to be 
और इमेजिन आर सेल्स टू बी इफ यू डोंट आइडेंटिफाई योर शेडो सेल्फ दैन इट विल सेपटेज द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ योर पर्सनैलिटी एंड कीप कॉजिंग यू पेन एंड प्रॉब्लम्स But when you allow the light of Jesus love to call your shadow self out of hiding and you will experience freedom to be your best self. My child know that someone wants come to you but don't bring them close again in your life. signs come from different areas you may see numbers feathers coins and names on name plates but this is mean to give you a sign that something positive is coming there is a master plan set out for you and god has more in store for you but you must trust the process sometimes it is not always what we would like it to be but it is perfected for you and this is a time you just have to have a faith and believe that it is going to work itself out and you have so much love to give and can help others as well don't allow negative energy to have its place in your life it is not what others say or try to intimidate you but it is about standing up for yourself and being your authentic self this is a time that you may be seeing signs and receive messages from your own spirit guides it is a good idea to write it down any of the visions dreams messages and energetic feelings that you are getting from the divine and they will come in from when you least expect it and the messages will be clear and simple so my child know that i see how hard you are trying and i want you to know that i am proud of you to want to lean into your growth when it is not neatly organized and when it is not easy or convenient is such an intensely beautiful thing to want to be softer in this world to want to love more and care more and do more with your time here that is special you deserve to believe in the goodness that is waiting for you on the other side of your healing you deserve to believe that nothing in your past has ever made you unworthy of your future and that the right things were always going to find you were going to stay despite what you have been through at the hands of this life so this is your reminder who you are in this very moment is valid and worthy the way you want to love and be loved is valid and the dreams you have are valid and your healing is valid your sadness and your grief is valid your happiness is valid you hold so much potential within yourself you are capable of doing the most immensely awe inspiring things and i am sorry that the world at times had tried to convince you otherwise what you are going to be okay you are going to become the human being you have always hoped to be and you are going to discover your own version of happiness of hope you are going to look back on the moments you ever doubted your becoming and you are going to be so glad that you keep going to keep going my child know that when we feel trapped in a situation but spirit is reminding us that 
there is a way out however we just are not seeing it right now we may be limiting ourselves by waiting for someone to come and help which could be giving our power away to them are you expecting someone to do something for you or towards you and putting yourself in a sticky situation because of it and you may be overthinking when the eight of swords come through to this is a mental battle today and it's important to take the blindfold off and be honest with ourselves about how we may be holding ourselves back Some days are harder than others and today is one of those days where lots of thoughts keep popping up and you are trying hard to process them all but there is so much going on in your head space The voices in your head may be loud and conflicting today but remember that as you let everything rise to the surface you can choose what to let go of Remind yourself of lots of positive things today to balance any negative thoughts affirmations may be useful along with journaling you have more power in this situation than you may currently believe and as you cut yourself free you will see that a lot of what you were worried about was imaginary or an illusion so my child know that You are moving from grayish clouded energy to the calmer blue sky energy more high vibration and there is emotional upgrading and healing coming up or already going on However rest assured because you will get the inner stability peace and balance in yourself which sometimes you have been desire and longing for You are also guided to listen and follow your own intuition. You will get hand to hand emotional offer from the universe to fulfill your cups. In the past you have been carrying so much baggage now you are more likely to get your freedom. You learn your lessons and how to tune balancing your feminine and masculine energy. Things are turning into a new leaf now. when it comes to romance relationship nothing can stop the connection you are involving with this person fact there will be sense of a deeper intimacy with new level between you and someone so dear someone know that and it feels like i am waking back up again Slowly after months of slumber I can feel the hum of my own vibration softly coming back to life I close my eyes and inhale deeply and feel my heart tapping gently against my chest I am breathing fresh air like it is the first time I notice the sunlight dancing across my skin and see colors in the sky that I have not noticed since before and before it all unrevealed so quickly and i could not pick up the string and pull it back in place fast enough and for so long i was living in the in between not fully asleep but not quite awake existing somewhere between the past and future but never alive and here in the present but slowly quietly i feel it again life energy a soft spark i watch the sunrise every morning and it reminds me that there is still a whole world out there that i have not yet explored and there is beauty and hope and joy and love fear too but that is okay because fear comes with taking chances and being alive and i would rather feel the fear than hide from it 
so i would rather be a little foolish and braver than forever safe and numb and i can feel the energy of something more swelling through my body and breath and bones and for the first time in a long time i feel that gentle tingle beneath my skin and i remember that i am still living i am still breathing and there is so much still here for me there is so much i want to be present for so my child know that a meandering river is a waterway that curves bend turns and seems to swing side to side as it flow forward with from above it looks sinuous and even snake like Meandering rivers are dynamic as they wind their ways across via floor and bring life-giving sediment to new habitats. In Greek culture, they represented the fluid movement of water and the eternal flow of all life. The twisting patterns were also thought to represent the serpent which was the symbol of healing there are times to hold on tight to the shore and that there are times to enter the flow notice where life is going and move in that direction watch for signs and follow them don't resist when you go with the flow your life force expands and healing on all level abounds This is also the time to release old limiting patterns forgive and let go of the need to be right about your beliefs it is you are not feeling the smooth currents of life it might mean that you are being self critical of judgment and when you enter the flow with gratitude and love you will find blessings surrounding you you will enter into a state of growth and healing will abound the peach tree blossoms early and because of this it's a often a symbol of spring and renewal of life it is also the chinese symbol of a happy marriage fulfillment is at hand no matter what is occurring in your life put your attention on what is splendid pleasurable and luxurious find bliss in the moment love fully deeply without hesitation Cherish your friendship. Fill your life with people, experiences, and places that give you delight. Let go of people and things that don't feel empowering and that drag your energy down. You no longer need to put the needs of others ahead of your own needs. And if you have had any health issue, a ripe peach represents a return to better health. Savor your life with gusto and with grace. Experience and impress life in all its permutations. If you want to convince a new project or start a new relationship, this card is an excellent omen for a great outcome. My child knew that, and it come to pass it. that they went both together into the signage of the jews and so speak that a great multitude both of the jews and also of the greeks believed but the unbelieving jews stirred up the genitals and made their minds evil affected against the brethren long time therefore about they speaking boldly in the lord which gave testimony unto the word of his grace and granted signs and wonders to be done by their hands but the multitude of the city was divided and part held with the jews and part with the apostates 